So, um, let's just jump right into it. Um, did you you saw your mother get murdered? Yes, I did. I did. Start again? No, you're fine. Okay. Um, I was thinking of a close question. How did you close oh. yeah. Take your time, though. Take your time. Was there thing. anybody else in the house when you came? Uh, yes. Did you did you specifically see what he looked like or she looked like? Sort of. Yes. Okay, so could you tell me a little bit about? How you found her mom? Or? I found her um, on the living room floor, uh, and there was just blood everywhere. And um, there was there was a, a tall man standing over her with dark hair, um, breathing really heavily. Where, in contrast to you, were they? Um, I was coming up the stairs, I was at the top of the stairs looking around the corner, and they were up in the corner of the room, way diagonally across from me, so far. Um, do you have any idea, idea who would want to harm your mother? Um, well, her ex-boyfriend was really weird, and it, I had never personally met him, but I saw pictures of him, and it looked like his hair color, so... Okay. What, if you, if you put the situation in, what would have happened? Like, what, from what you saw, how did it happen? I would assume that my mom's ex-boyfriend killed her. Yeah, and that he, he still had feelings for her, and she didn't like the guy, or he didn't like the guy that she was seeing, and that he just was jealous of him, and felt bad and took it upon himself to end her life because he couldn't be with her and then nobody else could, so. Okay, how, how, moving on, how are you feeling? I'm, you know, I was in shock for a long time and now I'm feeling, it still feels a little unreal. It still feels unreal. I, you know, I wake up and I just don't think that this is my life and that it's real. Have you... Have you had the thought process for what's going to happen now that mom isn't around, or were you, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how I'm going to live without her because, you know, I have a disability and she took care of me and, she, you know, she cooked and cleaned for me and I find it very difficult to do things on my own, so I've been depending on my sister to help me, and I know she has a job, so she's really tired, and I'm just, it's very difficult, it's very difficult. So with your disability, could you survive on your own, or what, are you always needing somebody to... Well, I have, um, I have chronic seizures, so, and I have a couple every day, so I never know what's going to happen, and you know, I could be in the kitchen, hit my head, and um, I'm on really heavy medication, so I don't know how to, um, I, I'm always kind of in a fog, and things are just really weird for me, it's, you, you know, I, I have a hard time being on my own, I can do it, it's difficult, but I, I need help, so. So I hear that you have a lot of problems, and um, unfortunately your mom's not there to help you. Was she the only person besides your sister that was helping you? Um, yeah, that was it. You know, I'm really isolated. I can't drive anywhere because I'm at risk for having a seizure. And so, yeah, I. she was the only one, and now my sister is too, so... So I'm going to go back to the murder of your mother, uh, 
and get a little more serious about it and try to get, get a little bit more information from you. Um, what was the stance of this man that you saw? He was just... Like, what did he look like when I saw him? Well, like, how was he? was he standing? Was he directly over your mother? Was he, like, was it a worry? Yeah, he... Was he, he more worried or was it more like, ha ha, I got you, kind of? Without putting words in your mouth, you know? Was it, you know, how would you... Yeah, he looked... He did look... He, you know, he, he looked like he didn't care. He just looked like he was, like, there's like... He just glazed over, you know, I saw him turn to the side, you know, and he, he just looked blank, very blank, like, just like a psychopath, just completely blank, so. Was there a knife or anything, a weapon, was there a weapon located near him, or was it just, or did you see one, or yeah, was? it looked like he was putting a knife into his pocket, so, it was really weird, it was, it was kind of a small knife, but looked like he'd stabbed her many, many times, so... Well, I'm so sorry you had to go through that. I, I can never express how sorry I am that your mother has passed away. Um, I just want to verify some of the information, and so you saw, you saw the man that may or may have not have killed your mother. Um, she was lying on the living room floor. Um, he had dark hair, um, and you thought you saw him stick a knife in his pocket? Is yes. that is that what I'm understanding yes. from you? Yes, that is what happened. Okay, well thank you so much for letting me interview you, thank and you. I will be in contact if I have any other questions. Thank you.